round ball rankings. They're powered by the Intel core processors in the brain. Let's go. Let's kick it off. My top six teams where their luck is about to change. Kick it off, James. Let's go. Number six. The Phoenix Suns. The Suns have missed the playoffs in 10 straight seasons entering this one. That's the second longest active playoff drought in the NBA behind only... The Sacramento Kings, which have 14. But now things are changing, guys. The second best record Uh in the league. Ooh, get him, CP3. I see you working. Nine assists per game. Devin Booker finally became an all-star, averaging 25 points per game. I like their youth. I like their talent. Monty Williams right now is in my top list of one of the top coaches in the game. Probably the coach of the year thus far, moving into NBA. Number five. Let's go, baby. Number five. I live with this every single day, Alan. My wife talks about it. My brother-in-law talks about it. My father-in-law talks about it. He wants to come on the show. Who's going to be the next head coach of the Indiana Hoosiers, right? This team, since the NCAA tournament began in 1939, Archie Miller is the first coach to spend at least four seasons at IU and never reached the tournament. Never reached the tournament. He's the only coach in IU history Mm. not to have a Big Ten winning season in any of his four years. That's blasphemy. IU deserves better. Bring me back to the days of Kelvin Sampson. I don't care about a missed phone call. We want to (laughs) win. Bring me back to the days of Tom Crean. Give me guys like Victor Oladipo. Hey, I'll tell you my head coaching list for them. This is going to change. Try to get Brad Stevens. You can't get him? Mm. Get Chris Beard from Texas Tech. You can't get him? Call up Baylor. Scott Drew is willing to work. He came on here yesterday, talked about Bryce Drew, and then laid out his entire resume. (laughs) Scott Drew wants the opportunity. Give it to Scott Drew. Here we go. Number four. Number four. Oh, the Fab Five. You know what I'm talking about. Michigan basketball. No Big Ten school has won the NCAA tournament since the year 2000. Mm. Since the year 2000. Barton Allen. Was that Trey Burke? No, that was, no. Trey Burke. Trey Burke. They didn't win it. They didn't win it. I'm talking about Mateen Cleaves. Yeah. I'm talking about oh. Mo P. Oh. I'm talking about that Michigan State team. Yeah. Flintstones. Flintstones. The Flintstones. Getting it done for Tom Izzo. Nice, Bart. Look, this team, things are changing right now for them. Things are changing. Yes, John Beeline had them going. I understand it. They don't have Isaiah Livers in the tournament, but Juwan Howard is the guy for this organization <laughs> moving forward. Guess what? They're going to have a top 20 recruiting class. That's what we want to see. We, Jalen Rose has said this so many times. He wants to see McDonald's All-Americans yeah. going back to Michigan. Let's get back to the days of Jamal Crawford. Let's get back to the days of having top-tier talent. Juwan Howard has gotten, gotten it done thus far. Number three. Number three, Gonzaga. We talk about it. The last time Duke and Kentucky missed the tournament, a team went undefeated in at the, the I- tournament. That'd be IU. That's IU, 1976. Gonzaga has a chance to go undefeated. Number one seed is their fourth time in the last eight NCAA tournaments. Their fourth number one seed in the last eight NCAA tournaments. But let me tell you why this year is different. They got guys like Kispert who can score against anybody. And Jalen Suggs had a chance to go directly overseas and make millions of dollars. He got other offers from top-tier programs. He chose to go to Gonzaga. It's a different kind of look for Gonzaga basketball. This is a year where everything changes. They win the national chip. That might be a number one pick. Mark that down. Here we go. Number two. Oh, we're coming right back home, baby. We're coming right back home to the city. What are you doing? We're coming coming to your squad, Alan. Things are about to change for the Knicks. The last time the Knicks made the playoffs and had a winning record, when is that, Alan? Can you tell me? The last time they made the playoffs had a winning record. And had a winning record. That would be 2013. Ooh, look at you. You're a diehard Knicks fan. I love it. Go New York. 2012. Go New York. Go. Yeah, Jesse Issler props to you for writing That's that right. song. That's right, my man. That's right. Jesse Issler wrote that song. But look, things are changing right now for the Knicks. I think they're going to make the playoffs. Julius Randle having a career year. Emmanuel quickly. And guess what? Not only are they going to make the playoffs, I like some of the young assets that they're building for the next superstar to come here to New York. As we talked about with multiple franchises across all sports, just shows me stability. Yeah. Show me stability. World Wide West, Leon Rose, they're doing that right now. If they can continue to show me stability, they will not only make the playoffs, but they will land a superstar here in New York City very soon. Oh. From your mic to God's ears. There we go. Number, Number one. Number one. MJ, bring it home, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Bring it home. Since Jordan has taken over the team, the Hornets have had 13 lottery picks. Mm. 13 lottery picks. Ew. Third most in the NBA. <laughs> Only one of those lottery picks 
Bartholomew. Kurt Morris? <laughs> Only one of those lottery picks has Kurt. been an all-star at any point in Kurt. their career. Kurt Morris. Can you tell me who that all-star is? Uh, Kurt Morris, a.k.a. Baby Bird. You were wrong. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Alan, can you tell me who that one all-star <laughs> is? The one all-star from the Hornets in the last 13 picks? Do you know picks? this, Alan? Chris Paul? No. <laughs> Kimba Walker. Ah, okay. The only one. Kimba Walker. The only one. Oh my God. But guess what? LaMelo Ball, mm. social media superstar. They are the most entertaining team to watch in the league. I repeat, yeah. people, listen to me. If you don't have NBA League Pass, go get it right now. Yeah. It's worth it to watch the Charlotte yeah. Hornets play. Not only is LaMelo Ball playing out Gordon of his Hayward. tail, but you also have Gordon Hayward. They have young pieces. They're moving in the right direction. Devontae Graham a couple years ago should have got six man of the year. I love the way yeah. this team is moving. They play fast, and LaMelo Ball is a star. Is a star. And that is my top six teams whose luck are about to change. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.